start as orders. And they're off as they burst out of the stores. One of the first gone is on the far side with Jama Hunt, also well up with leader Song Fee. Bilai also showing girl his speed, so too the Bratsovi. And also right there is Hawaiian Sound. It's Hawaiian Sound and Kamaju now disputed from Song Fee, remained a man on the inside. Julio Mariner just in behind him, Bratsovi on the far side. And then on the near side, Orange Marmalade, just in behind him, Inkerman, Admiral's Launch, X Directory, and towards the rear of the field in the early stages. Waris and also Gracias and also towards the rear Tom Strauss. As they continue through the first quarter mile, remained a man just in front of Hawaiian Sound. Then comes Julian Mariner just in behind them. So too is Whitstead. Drass is well on terms of leaders. Just in behind them comes Inkerman. Then comes Roland Gardens, Admiral's Launch, followed by Hills Yankee. So they continue uphill on towards a mile from home marker. And as they do so, it's still just remained a man. Hawaiian Sound, these two dispute it. And then just in behind him comes Julio Mariner. And then just after then towards the far side, Son Fee. So Bratz have been just in behind them. But they're swinging around towards the Sun Furlong from home marker. Hawaiian Sound in the lead from Camacho in second place. Then right up with the lead is two on the far side, Son Fee. Then on the near side comes Julio Mariner. Just in front of Shirley Heights. Remainder man comes next. And then comes Inkerman. They have about three quarters of a mile still to go. And it's Willie Shoemaker on Hawaiian Sound continuing to lead still from in second place Camacho. Then in third place Julio Mariner. Son Fee follows the leading three. Then just in behind them all in a group is Remainder man, Inkerman. And also just right there too with the chance just in behind of a Bratsovi but they're swinging now towards Tatnam Corner and it's Hawaiian Sound still in the lead from Julio Mara next to Rails then towards the outside being pushed along is Hills Yankee then comes Camacho that's a leading four remained a man just in behind them then comes the pajama hunt formidable making a run on the far side under pressure on the near side being pushed along is Inkerman but they're coming now towards the three final from home marker and it's Hawaiian Sound still the leader from Julio Mariner now makes run go to second formidable just in behind him, remained a man and Tony Ive right there with the chance, they have a quarter mile sort to go and it's Willie Shoemaker on Hawaiian Sound in the lead from remained a man picking out ground on the outside is Pajama Hunt then comes Shirley Hyde and Julian Marion I don't think going to find any more, they're coming now towards the final furlong, it's Hawaiian Sound still the and remained a man and Shirley Hyde's going with a tremendous run on the far side they've got about 100 yards to go it's Hawaiian Sound on the near side, Shirley Hyde's on the near side and it's Shirley Hyde who gets up in the last try to win it and they kick away with a very good level break. Dahlia Paul with early pace and also Dubai Millennium look towards the right. Oath follows that group and all the way the local hero is up with the pace too. On the extreme left, Salford Express uh, takes the dog leg, uh, leading from on the inside. Housemaster Glam sits midfield with Comp and Admiral in midfield through the rise at the back of the pack. And so negotiating the first turn and as they uh, kick uh, come across the track, it's all the way from Oath holds a good position. On the inside, Val Royal, these are one, two, and three. Frankie on Dubai Millennium sits uh, all about three lengths off the pace. Red cap of uh, South Express is in a good position. A little bit of jockeying there, and possibly Housemaster, an unlucky horse at that position, but they've sorted themselves out now, and it's all the way out in front, out of trouble, that has the edge here. To Val Royal, the inside of Salford Express, and then uh, Dahlia Poor and Oath. And behind these, Dubai Millennium and then Zaja with uh, Housemaster behind that now. Lucido midfield, Beatles on the outside out of trouble. Through the rye, one of the back markers is well out the back. Adair, the big horse from America, is uh, near a last and first. Saffron Walton is well down the pack at this stage and they're at the top of the hill now. Shortly past the halfway stage in the Vodafone derby with all the way leading. Two Salford Express in second and Dahlia Paul holding a good position and Val Royal, the French jocks are in a good uh, posse. Then five is out, six Lucido getting closer, Zaja, Dubai Millennium beats all the outside. And then we have Housemaster followed by Compton Admiral Glam, Saffron Walton on the outer and then Adair, Brancaster towards the back and so too is through the rye. They begin the descent to Tattenham Corner now and all the way Jimmy Murder still just has the edge. Red Cap, Salford Express running a big race, Dahlia Paul and Oath with the white bridle, grey colours the inside Val Royal, 
Dubai Millennium serving Sheffield down the pack. Zaja holds a good position. They're rounded Tatman corner. Don't come down the home run now. And still all the way has it. Dahlia for the outside. Red cap is still Salford Express. Very little change. Oath on the outer from the back beat. All starts to run. Val Royal. He's looking for room on Dubai Millennium. Doesn't find any. Lucido in a barging match. They come past the two. And here comes Oath under Kieran Fallon on the outside of Dahlia Poor and Gerald Mossier head head-to-head from the back beat all starts to pick up housemaster with a giant run then all the way and glance inside the final furlong now and i swear it's oath in the lead up towards the line oath is going to win the vodafone derby dalia poor is second it's tight for third on the nod and they're off Racing for the Investec Derby of 2010. First to break the line is Bullet Train as they all look across to see where the pace is going to come from at first sight who uh, many thought would set the pace. He's only doing so at an even gallop at the moment alongside Asmeal. Ted Spread is pretty handy on the outside of Midas Touch with Bullet Train's pink cap. Alzia racing in sixth place towards the inside with Workforce settled in seventh just ahead of Jan Vermeer, who's on the outside of Coordinated Cut. Rewilding, Hot Prospect and Buzzword is held up at the rear of the field as they make this steady climb, being taken along by At First Sight, who's now moved through to lead Asmeal, who is now keen under restraint in second place with disputing that position bullet train and out wider Midas touch and also out wider is Ted Spread who's posted a little deep at the moment. Alzir in the red cap settles midfield with Jan Vermeer moving forward on the outside of workforce. Jan Vermeer now moving through into sixth or seventh with rewilding also encouraged to take slightly closer order. Hot prospect coordinated cut towards the rear of the field with buzzword so the pace is rather better now as at first sight reaches the highest point of the course and prepares to begin the descent. At first sight with bullet trained well positioned in second place. In third is Asmiel ahead of Midas Tut. Ted Spread already being ridden along on the outer of Alzia. Jan Vermeer descends in about seventh place on the outside of Workforce. Rewilding is also in that little cluster as well as At First Sight kicking on down the hill begins to inject some pace and has gone five to six lengths clear. Rewilding still towards the back with Hot Prospect, Buzzword and Coordinated Cut. So turning back towards home, At First Sight leads by five lengths. Bullet Train is ridden in second. Midas Touch travelling smoothly in third from Asmiel. Jan Vermeer also travelling smoothly. Just needs to push out underneath Alzia. So at first sight is giving a bold sight. It's still about six lengths clear. Workforce has moved through to head the chase. Jan Vermeer is back in third but out in the clear. Workforce trying to run down at first sight. Jan Vermeer has three lengths to find on Workforce in third. Then Alzia behind these Midas Touch. Workforce has taken over from at first sight and he's clear in the derby. Jan Vermeer being pressed now by rewilding for the minor honours, but surely they're all chasing the shadow of Workforce. About five lengths clear. He won his first classic yesterday with the Oaks. This one will complete the double for Ryan Moore. Workforce won the Investec derby. And away they go in the derby. Where a win was a little bit slow in the stride and one of the first away as Kashokton goes straight into the lead from Nahif who takes up a prominent position. Frankie's dream is up there as well and Moon Ballad with a white cap is going to set a good gallop too for Godolphin. Dropping in behind them Thole Janner and further back is Hawkwing who's centre field on settling. Jelani is tucked away on his inside as they climb uphill under the trees. Further back in the field at this stage fights your corner from High Chaparral. They are followed by Louis Villers right out the back in company there uh, at this stage with Bandari who's giving them a big start and where or when is last of all continuing this climb uphill past the nine and Moon Ballad had burnt them off here it's Moon Ballad who's out in front leads from Frankie's Dream and Kashokton who's just dropped in behind them two lengths away Thole Janna three then to Jelani followed by Nahif and then Bandari well back in the field Hawkwing on his inside from High Chaparral then fights your corner who's giving them an enormous start as they continue their climb uphill to the highest point at Louisville is last of all but the leader here is Moon Ballard the Godolphin second string for Jamie Spencer who's having his 22nd birthday today he leads by a length and a half as they start to freewheel down they race down to Tattenham Corner. Moon Ballard in front from Frankie's Dream on the outside. Kashokton is back in third. These are followed after a break then to Nahif. 
and then Fol Janner on the inside, Bandari further out, followed next by Hawkwing and High Chaparral and a gap to where or when. They run down round Tatton corner then with three and a half furlongs left to go. And it's Moon Ballad from Frankie's Dream, Kashopton with the white face, a gap back to Nahif. Making progress now is High Chaparral on the outside, Hawkwing following, and then where or when, and they're followed by Jelani back in the pack and Bandari weakening out of it down the straight then. And it's Moon Ballad by two or three lengths to Kashopton. High Chaparral now unleashing a run on the outside, followed by Hawkwing in the dark blue jacket. They head down towards the final quarter mile and High Chaparral takes over in the hands of Johnny Murta. But here comes Hawkwing on the outside under Mick Canan. Back in third then is Moon Ballad and Kashopton in four. It's High Chaparral and Hawkwing ranging alongside the two stable mates. It's High Chaparral on the far side. Hawkwing trying to challenge out wide, but High Chaparral getting away again from Hawkwing. Well inside the final furlong. High Chaparral by a couple of lengths from Hawkwing. And High Chaparral goes on to win the derby from Hawkwing in second place. Gates fly back, they're racing, Grosh looks anxious to be positive on the inside. Saki is up with the pace too, the nose banded King's Clear pulled hard to post and is pulling hard in the race. Barathea Guest is dropped out through the early stages, it's uphill for the first five furlongs. King's Clear is running away, probably too fresh, Saki second. Best of the best has a good position in third, then well-being. Followed by Aristotle, who's close up with uh, also St. Expedi. Towards the inside of these is Brosh still chased by Sindar, Beat Hollow, and then Hatharana. Towards the rear early is Going Global, Ziz and Inchlon, Egan, Krakow, and Barathea Guest is the back marker as they run towards the mile pole. And King's Clear, wide on the course, has gone very fast early. Saki in the blue and white jacket, best of the best towards the inside in the all blue. In the apricot, well-being is well-poised. Aristotle on the extreme right, Mick Canan has a good position on the rail. Close up with these is Beat Hollow, big white face, 52.97 for the first half mile. It's very quick indeed. Kingsclear went off too quick, and those at the back may be doing the wise thing at this stage. Barathea Guest still sitting one from last, an inch long egg under wily old Pat Edry is last of all. They begin the run downhill then in the 2000 Vodafone Derby and Saki and Best of the Best are running first and second. Wellbeing is close with these. These are followed by Sindar with a very good position. Just in behind them is Beat Hollow. Aristotle right there on the inside. Back in the field then to St. Expedi and Brosh, and then going global from Ziz, and King's Clear has already run his race. They run round Tatlin Corner with just under a half mile left to cover, and it's best of the best on the inside. Chris McCarran, the American jockey, Saki alongside. Wellbeing is next, then Sindar, Aristotle driven hard. Hatharana beat Hollow with the big white face, trying to get out, and hasn't got much racing room. Saki makes the long run for home. It's Saki from from Sindar in second, best of the best fading. Beat Hollow in the pink cap, trying to come with a run. Then well-being, can Saki hold them off? Sindar laying it down, a strong challenge, the Irishman. Beat Hollow the far rail, it's Saki reeled in by Sindar. And Sindar's stamina comes to the fore from Saki. It's Sindar and Johnny Murta for Ireland. Sindar wins the Vodafone derby. All in as you heard. Then is the test in front of them, and first this 150 foot climb uh, through the first half mile. It's Daffak, the pacemaker, and Marilinga, the two that you're expected to go on doing so. Corner Honor is third, and then Farhal racing four, followed by Rayadian. Presenting holds a good position in about uh, five spot, followed through by Manwa. The only one who's trailing is Humble, Penny Cap near and last and first, and so too is Spectrum. But in the white cap, it's presenting that's come through to take up the running. On the left of the pink cap, that's Daffak. Further left is Court of Honour, Penny Camp's tucked in behind the horses, Munwa the blue and white striped cap, yellow colours on the right salmon ladder, green colours, the dark green is Rayadian, the light green, a little bit of boxing there the, as they go towards the top of the hill and through the first half mile, Marilinga has the edge. From Court of Honour in second and then Fahal third, and then we have Rayadian in four. Running the rail is presenting the white colours in five, and wide Karan be a good position six. Then comes Tamori the white cap mid-division with Daffak the pacemaker dropping through the pack. Uh, then comes presenting the face 
favourite, has got about five behind him at this stage. Humble, the Irish runner, is one of them. So too at this stage is Vettori. Munwar, Willie Carson sitting on the fence at about the seventh slot. Come down towards the halfway stage. The nose band, Marilinga runs the rail. Two quarter of honour out wide, the black cap Faha. The dark green colours is Ryadia presenting the rail. Then we have Karambi, the black steel jacket on the outside. Spectrum gets a little bit closer. So too Tabori and presenting. Uh, then comes Lamtara. Salmon a long way down the pack. Tafak is the trailer. Vittori starts to make ground as they come down towards Tatnam Hill. And it's Marilinga with Court of Honor the outside. Court of Honor edging into the lead. Court of Honor just the leader as they continue the turn for home. With Fahal the outside, Marilinga being ridden along. Then behind these comes a Ryadian with the Karambi force wide. Pennycamp gets a good run now. Manwa views the front, but they come down the home straight. And Tamori the white cap goes closer, but it's Fahal the black cap that goes for home. And it's Fahal in the lead, Court of Honor. Here comes Tamori the white cap in third place. Fahal has it from Tamori. Tamori, Court of Honor, then comes Ryadia presenting Lamtara behind these. And it's Fahal under Richard Hills who's driving for the line. Just over a furlong and a half to go in the Vodafone Derby. And Fahal has the edge. Here comes Tamori, the white cap on the outside. Court of Honor back in third. Lamtara, the green colours flying the outside of presenting. They're inside the final furlong now. And it's Tamori, the white cap. Here comes Lamtara from the gods. Lamtara takes it. Lamtara, Tamori, and presenting the white two. And they're off. And racing for the Investec Derby. Carlton House not the fastest away. Uh, that honour going at the moment to the Grey Ocean War. No frantic pace early on. As amongst those that show up, Pisco Sao, Mahaba Mal Yoon, and also Memphis, Tennessee in the early stages. And now it is Memphis, Tennessee that presses on from Pisco Sour. Mahaba Mal Yoon, Castle Morris King is up there early on as they make their way through the first couple of furlongs, climbing uphill with Memphis, Tennessee leading Pisco Sour. Mass Marvel, Castle Morris King and Mahaba Malyun, Treasure Beach on the heels of the leaders in company with Ocean War, then Vadamar with Native Khan. About four from the back at this stage is Carlton House and also towards the rear is Seitel. Uh, Paul Moir is last of all at the moment, preceded by Seville. So a lot of the big guns are well back in the field early on as they're being taken along by Memphis, Tennessee and Joseph O'Brien from Mahaba Malyun in second, Pisco Sour on the inside of Treasure Beach. Castle Morris King on the inside of a Grey Ocean War, then Mass Marvel on the inside of Vadimar, Carlton House on the outer of Native Khan, Seville's partner is Recital, and Paul Moir is at the back of the field and would now be about uh, 10 to 12 lengths behind the leader, Memphis, Tennessee, who's pressing on now and has opened up an advantage of about four lengths, so beginning to string them all out. It's Memphis, Tennessee, who shows the way by four to five lengths from Mahaba Malyun in second, Treasure Beach on the outside of Pisco Sour. Castle Morris King in fifth place ahead of the Grey, which is Ocean War ahead of Mast Marvel. Vadimar comes next with Native Khan. Carlton House towards the outside of the field at this stage. Behind these, Seville Recital and Paul Moir. So Memphis, Tennessee on the descent leads by three to four lengths as the leader approaches Tattenham Corner. Mahaba Malyun is ridden along in second as Treasure Beach moves through to take that position from Pisco Sour. Mast Marvel. Carlton House moving up towards the outside of the field with the Grey on the inside, Native Khan as now they straighten and Memphis, Tennessee leads still by four lengths. Treasure Beach is in second, Native Khan into third. Carlton House down the outside. Then the pink colours towards the inner of Recital. Plenty with a lot to do at this stage as they make their way now with a furlong and a half to charge race. Memphis, Tennessee from Treasure Beach. Carlton House towards the outside. Then in fourth, Native Khan. Recital comes next. Paul Moir from a long way back. Treasure Beach got to the front in the derby. Memphis, Tennessee and Carlton House in hot pursuit, out in front Treasure Beach, from in second Carlton House, Paul Moir coming strongly down the outside, Treasure Beach just in front, Paul Moir coming on the outer and celebrates as if he's won the derby, Mikel Barcelona the judge may be needed Off and running in the 2009 derby and Age of Aquarius down near the inside was one of the first away, gone out has gone away smartly, a golden sword going very fast in the early stages Kite Wood is up there as well uh, further back, Fame and Glory settling about fifth from Debussy and then Black Bear Island. But Golden Sword is the early leader from Kitewood up in second. Then in third is Age of Aquarius, his big white face, pink cap on the outside. Gone Aris has taken up fourth, just behind them, the white jacket. Followed by See the Stars, Big Canan settles fifth on the inner. Followed by Mon 
Tom Taff. Further back in the field then is Fame and Glory de Bussy. They're followed by Rip Van Winkle, who's well back with Black Bear Island and Crowded House as they go through the first three furlongs. And the leader is Golden Sword by two lengths to Age of Aquarius. The two Aiden O'Brien uh, face setters out there, blazing the trail by four lengths to Kitewood. Montaff is up on the outside. See the stars, the yellow jacket. Gone Aris is just behind him. They're followed by Fame and Glory de Bussy, Rip Van Winkle. Then on the inside next, the pink jacket of Black Bear Island from Crowded House. And last is Master of the Horse, who's being weighted with by Richard Hughes. As they reach the highest point of the course now, six and a half furlongs left to go in the derby. And Golden Sword, the Chester Vars winner, is blazing the trail by two lengths to the Lingfield Derby trial winner, Age of Aquarius. Four or five lengths away is Godolphin's Kitewood up on the outside. Mick Canan has See the Stars in a beautiful fourth on the rail. Next is Montaff, followed then by Fame and Glory, the green jacket of Debussy, the inside. They're followed then by Gon Aris, the outer in the white jacket. Then Rip Van Winkle is travelling kindly as they race downhill past the five in the derby. Further back in the field, then out wider uh, is Crowded House, about third last in company with Black Bear Island and also starting to make some ground now as Master of the Horse. Coming around Tattenham Corner now. And on the inside, Golden Sword is the leader from in second age of Aquarius. They've gone four lengths in front of Kitewood. And see the Stars is travelling very smoothly for Mick Canan. Then behind them, Fame and Glory to Bussy and further back in the field. Battling on then is Rip Van Winkle and Crowded House taken to the outside. Golden Sword though is the one to catch. They race inside the two furlong and it's Golden Sword clear. Here's See the Stars called on for an effort. Down the outside, Fame and Glory. It's now See the Stars who takes it up with a furlong to go. He goes a length up now, trying hard, fame and glory for Golden Sword and Rip Van Winkle, but see the stars, is going to win the Guineas and Derby Double. Goes on to win it well, fame and glory is second. Time Just Sandhurst is third, then Galileo coasting out wide of Dilshan, followed by Storming Home, Golem punched along and Chancellor between horses. They're chased back in the field by Taboog and King Karoo as they straighten up for home in the derby. And it's Mr. Comastable, challenged by Perfect Sunday. Galileo pushed along on the outside, then Putra Sandhurst from Dilshan, storming home, trying to get out. They've got just over two furlongs to go. Mr. Combustible on Perfect Sunday. Here's Galileo now charging down the outside, and Galileo comes to take over from Mr. Combustible. Then Perfect Sunday, Golan running on from the rear, then Dilshan and Putra Sandhurst, but Galileo is really opening up as they run down inside the final furlong. Galileo by four to five lengths. Golan staying on in second place, but nearing the line. It's Galileo. He's left them toiling. It's no contest. Galileo, a brilliant winner of the derby. Golan is second. Taboog is third. Depends how much you heard him say. Take him away. Looks as if they're going to go without him. They're under orders. They're up. Lydian is a non-runner. Waverley Hall was slowly away. And on the inside, it suddenly builds. And in fact, it's Riveretto that goes off. Riveretto in the lead from suddenly builds in second place. And just in behind these on the outside comes Silver Season. There comes El Nassim behind El Nassim. Shergar uh, racing prominently. The back marker is Waverley Hall. Robolino is also towards the rear. And as they settle down, running through the first two furlongs, it suddenly builds on the outside of Riveretto. Then Shergar going well in the left of the picture. Uh, then just in behind that one is Waverley Hall, that's the back marker. That's the one that's already making uh, some way adrift. They continue their stiff uphill climb, and it's Riberetto in the lead from Silver Season in second. Then Sunday Builds is third, and Shergar is four. Then Al Nass is five, and Church Parade six, and Shotgun going sweetly in seventh place just in behind them. But it's Riberetto in the lead as they uh, continue the make uphill climb. Riberetto the leader from Silver Season up on the outside. Shergar is third, then Sunday Builds is four. Church Church Parade is five, the Grey Shotgun in sixth place, then behind Shotgun is Krug, and behind Krug came, uh, comes Sheergrit making up a bit of ground, El up on the outside, these are tracked by Glint of Gold, and as they begin these descent at the top of the hill, coming down to the halfway stage, and it's Riberetto in the lead, Riberetto the leader from Silver Season in second, Shergar spot his white face there in third, the Grey, Lester Pickett going well in four, then Church Parade five, scintillating area six, and Cheer Grid seven, then comes King's General eight, Clinton Gold nine, and suddenly Bill ten, then comes Al Nass with Robolino making up ground upon the outside, but it's still Riberetto that leads as they begin the descent to Tatton Corner, it's Riberetto in the lead from Sunday Bill, Shergar there on the left 
back to the picture up on the outside, then scintillating air just in behind them. And behind scintillating air is Church Parade, then comes Shotgun, then comes King's General in the field, well and truly strung out as they swing into uh, the home straight, and having round tackle and corner, and the white face of Shergar moves up to dispute the lead with Riveretto. Shergar, Riveretto from Silver Seas and scintillating air, then behind these comes Shotgun and uh, Wallace Swinburne is committed, he's going for home, and Shergar is going on and going clear. The odds on favourite clear in the derby with just over two furlongs left to go. It's Shergar in the lead and clear from Silver Season. Leicester Pickett coming very wide on shotgun, but they've got a two furlongs left to race under two furlongs to go. And it's Shergar in the lead. Shergar from scintillating air in second place. Church Parade is third, shotgun fourth. Then comes Dent of Gold, but Shergar is well clear with a furlong to go. Shergar a long, long way clear of his rivals. Shergar in the lead and clear. Wallace Winburn riding about going for home ahead of Dent of Gold is second. Scintillating air is third, shotgun is fourth. But coming up to the line, Shergar is going to win it at the line. Shergar is the winner. Very easy winner.